In today's video, we're going to be taking over Arsenal and managing them for 10 seasons. If you're wondering why Arsenal, well, um, I don't trust the process with Mikel Arteta. They're 10th in the Premier League and I think they'd be a great club to, you know, start a brand new series with. Yup, we're going to call this Takeover Mondays. I kind of like the sound of that, where we'll be taking over a club for 10 seasons and we're starting off with Arsenal. We'll be keeping track of every trophy we win over the course of these 10 seasons, so it should be fun to see at the end how many trophies we can end up with. We'll also be tracking the top scorer and the top assister throughout the 10 seasons. Quick look at the rules of this brand new series. We're calling it 10 seasons takeover. 10 seasons to glory. We can make three transfers per season. So, yep, it's not going to be like we're going to sign everyone in the first season. We're allowed to make two transfers in the summer, one in the winter transfer window. We got to sim every single game. And the main objective is to create a dynasty over the course of these 10 seasons. It's not a gameplay heavy video we're not going to be playing any games but it's all about just managing the club for 10 seasons kind of like what Arsene Wenger did at Arsenal so yeah if you guys are excited for a brand new series and want to see this happen weekly I'd appreciate if you could smash that like button tell you what 8,000 likes on this video and we'll make this a weekly thing next week I'll get you another takeover Monday video I, I, I really like the sound of takeover Monday so yeah do drop a like in the video subscribe if you are new around here as well and it's time to take over Arsenal for the next 10 seasons. All right, guys, season one begins and I'm liking the look of the team we've got here. I mean, 10 seasons, man, so we've got to be patient with what we build. Players like Erdegaard are probably going to be here from day one until season 10. He'll be 32 by then, so yup. Even players like Ben White, you could say so. The youngsters like Saka are going to be so, so important for this challenge, but even the older players like Aubameyang, I think, are going to be key for the first few seasons. So, we've got a good balance, a good squad. Still think we need a fair few signings. We can make two in the summer window, one in the winter window. Keep that in mind. Also, a lot of these youngsters you guys can see, let's say like Sambi Lakonga and Ketia, they're going to play big parts, I feel, after we reach season four, season five. So, keep an eye out for that. Leno in goal. I'm liking it, man. Let's figure out where we need to make improvements. Okay, so we're looking at a budget of about 78 million. Not too bad. We can easily make a couple of really good signings. If we adjust that, it's even more. Plus, I'm going to be selling a lot of players I really don't care about. Okay, so we've already got a god-level player coming from the Youth Academy. I think this is the homegrown player. We get Owen Terry, 71 rated already. Like, what's going on? And in a challenge like this, he's going to be insane. Because, let's be real, 10 seasons from now, he'll only be 26 in his prime. I'm promoting him straight away to the senior team. I've just sold Lacazette to AC Milan. You're wondering why? Well, because he's 30 and Aubameyang's already old. I'd rather get a younger striker, so I'll take the 25 million for him. First transfer has been secured. It's Alessandro Bastoni. I really feel like we needed a centre-back above the overall of 80. That's something we were lacking. And Bastoni is only 22 and he will be here for the next 10 seasons. So I think it's a no-brainer. We've signed him for 44.2 million. Stats all round look pretty incredible for him and with development plans we're gonna make him OP so that's our first signing. So instead of getting a backup striker I decided to make my second signing Declan Rice. I know you're thinking Declan Rice to Arsenal what's going on? I feel like having him in that CDM role along with Partey would just free Odegaard up so much and it just would work. I really think so. 55 million for him is super expensive but he's only 22. High rated enough as well to improve the team a fair bit so yeah. Declan Rice is what I've gone for. All right, guys, transfers have been wrapped up for the first transfer window. Bastoni and Declan Rice is what we made. I'm liking the look of this squad. I think we did a good job. Backup options are looking nice as well. I'm very intrigued to see how we do in the first season. One thing I do like about this takeover challenge is that there is no rush as such to, you know, win, win like the Champions League in X amount of seasons. We can take it easy and that's what we're doing. But the objective is to build a God squad by the end of the 10th season. Also for this first episode, we're not using the Youth Academy. I want to try doing it through signings itself. But from the next episode, maybe we'll get the Youth Academy involved completely. Oh, 
Um, okay. I didn't expect this. 16th in the Premier League with that team? Guys, um, we could get sacked. Talk about 10 seasons, we won't even last one. If we get sacked, that's the challenge completely failed, by the way. Uh, okay. Wow, I, I didn't expect this. We need to make a good solid signing in this window. Otherwise, we could genuinely get sacked. Okay, so I'm negotiating for Serginho Dest. And they want Granit Xhaka in a swap deal. If Barcelona lost their minds, I I'll, I'll work with it, I guess. And yep, Serginho Dest has been signed. But I don't know why that yellow shirt player is on, on here. Like, why? Who is he? I don't know. But anyways, we've swapped Xhaka for Dest surprising and that is our signing of the winter window complete the question is can we survive the premier league in the first season because my god will be bad in the first half of the season let's sim until the end and see what we can achieve because i'm concerned about even lasting the first season here at arsenal i mean trust the process and all but that's not a good start all right, boys, this is the moment of truth. We're at the end of season one. We're going to find out whether we keep our job in the Premier League or not. Because if we finish 14, 15, which thankfully we haven't, I think we're getting sacked. Good thing is we finished above Spurs. That's that's an achievement in itself. We're in the top seven. Top six. Okay. Top four, maybe? Nah, we get fifth in the Premier League. Okay, how far off we were? We were five points off. But how did we recover from almost being in the relegation zone to top five? Serginho Des, did he have that big of an impact? I don't know, but we'll, we'll take that. We'll take fifth for the first season. No trophies, though, as Leicester win the FA Cup, and it is Manchester City who win the Carabao Cup. Stats-wise, Martin Odegaard, our top goal scorer. Look at him growing his overall up to an 85. Superb. Aubameyang, which is 13 goals. That is a bit of a bummer. Assist-wise, well, Emil Smith-Rowe, top assister for the season. Interesting. Here we go, updating our all-time stats, and we've got, of course, um, Martin Odegaard, our top scorer, with 17. Emil Smith-Rowe with 9 assists. I'm keen to see who ends up being our top scorer after the 10 seasons. For now, let's head into season 2. <laughs> Alright guys, season 2 begins with Arsenal and I think it's evident where we need to make the improvements. We were lacking a ton of goals last season and that was mainly the striker department. So getting a striker that's going to get us goals for fun, that is the move right now. It's time to bring in that replacement for Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang and we're bringing Richarlison from Everton. Now, this transfer was super cool for us because we only paid 36 million and Lucas Torreira. I wasn't anyway going to use Torreira, so unbelievable transfer. I'll absolutely take that and he'll be a great striker for the next four to five seasons but since this is a 10 season project at some point we might have to replace him Carlos Soler contract expiring in 12 months you know I love a player whose contract's expiring top class signing boys Carlos Soler in season two from Valencia and for about like 48 million so we'll absolutely take that we're done with our signings for this summer window all right guys that's how the squad's looking like for season two I'm loving it boys I'm loving it we had players like Guendouzi and Saliba come back from their loan spell which is great. We're ready for season two. I really think this is the season we can start adding to our trophy cabinet. And let's hope that's the case. I love the signing of Soler. Brings back kind of the Mikel Arteta vibes in this Arsenal midfield as a player, of course. Richarlison's going to give us goals. We've got Emil smith being 81. Erdegaard in the center. Loving it. Let's see what we can achieve in season two. Okay, this is actually disappointing. We've directly simmed to the end of the season because I felt like we didn't really need to make signings in January. I was happy with the team I'd have. I'd got and, well, we're sixth in the Prem. How are we going to get into Champions League football at this rate? We're two seasons in. Our team is actually very high rated, so I'm very surprised at this. Huh, okay, this is very, very interesting. Sixth in the Premier League in our second season. That's worse than what we did last season. Huh, when are we going to get our first trophy? <coughs> Brighton managed to win the FA Cup. Brighton have won a trophy before us. Like, what? What about the Carabao Cup? That goes to Chelsea. Fair play. Europa League, though. We're in this competition as we finish fifth. And there you go. That's more like it. We're in the finals against Leicester. All right, guys. Let's get our first trophy on board here as we take on Leicester City in the Europa League final. Come on. First trophy. I want it. Typical Arsenal. We lost this. So, no Champions League next season as well. This is brutal. This is honestly brutal. Martin Odegaard, he's, he's becoming our top goal scorer and 10 assists as well from him. That's mental. 
Carlos Soler did incredibly well. What a shining he's been. 15 goals. Emil Smithrow. Why does Richarlison only have 9 goals? And why is Aubameyang still at the club? I'm confused with that. But those are our top goal scorers for this one. Odegaard's having a monstrous season. Emil Smithrow has done pretty well as well. And yeah, that's it for, for the stats. Top goal scorer remains Martin Odegaard with 37. But Odegaard's also taking home the top assisted award as well for this one. That's actually mental. Anyways, time for season 3. Hopefully we can start winning trophies. Season 3 begins and it's a bit shocking that we're yet to win a trophy. Like if you look at this team, how insane is this? I'm thinking guys, we replace Burn Leno because he's 31. Remember, we got to do 10 seasons here. So we're going to have to keep changing players even though they are super high rated. So probably Leno is the oldest player in the squad and I think we need to get a new keeper. Well, that's probably what we're going to do in season three. I don't think we need to make any other signings. I don't want to make signings in this series for the sake of making signings, if you get me. We're going to be smart about it. Money-wise though, we're looking good. I sat there and renewed a lot of the contracts. So we're down to about 140 mil, but that's still good freaking money. Unai Simon is the goalkeeper I've gone for. He's 26, so he should give us five, six good seasons. If we're pushing it, maybe seven or maybe even eight. I'm not entirely sure, but I like this signing. I think he can offer us a fair bit. He can still grow in his overall as well. Good replacement for Burn Leno, who I think will be shipping out. Aaron Ramsdale, by the way, continues to grow in his overall. So I think we've got some really good competitive keepers. All right, boys, that's how our squad's going to be looking like for season three. I don't think there's any need to make any improvements in terms of signings. I want to trust this squad that we've got and see what we can achieve in season three. It's about time we win some silver where you look at the overalls in our team. It's, it's, it's a bit of a madness that we haven't won anything. That's going to be the goal for season three. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Real. Liverpool Arsenal, we've made an FA Cup final, uh, uh, finally a shot to win a trophy. It's taken us three seasons. We lost already the Europa League final. Gotta win this. Come on, guys. Let's get our first ever trophy off this challenge, please. <sighs> Are we ever going to win a trophy? This is just depressing at this point. Of course, it's Mo Salah scoring the winning goal. Ah. Oh. No trophies yet, but at least we'll be in the Champions League next season. That itself I'll take. That's a big upgrade. 76 points is where we finish at. Way behind Manchester City, but second in the Premier League is a pretty big upgrade from the first couple of seasons. So we're finally becoming a top club in the Prem. And now we'll be getting to experience Champions League next season. Emil Smith, row top scorer. That is incredible. What a season from him. 22 goals, 10 assists. Richarlison, 19 goals. Not too bad. Martin Erdegaard coming up with 15 and 17 assists as well. Carlos Soler is really, really good. But right now, Erdegaard has been the star of this challenge. Emil smith -Rowe might be challenging for the top scorer charts. We'll see, but those are the stats. Stats-wise, Martin Erdegaard leads the charts again. 52 goals, 35 assists. What a player. And he's only 25. I reckon we're going to have him for the entire challenge, which will genuinely be epic. Time for season four. We're still yet to win a trophy. Season 4, and you probably would have noticed we're not making as many signings as we need. We're keeping this kind of realistic in the sense that, you know, for example, Liverpool, once they won the Champions League, they didn't just go all out and buy more players the following season. They kept it, you know, low-key. And that's what we're trying to do. We're making slow signings, but we're, we're doing it. We're improving the team slowly. It's a 10-season project. Got to keep that in mind. For Season 4, I reckon Tomiyasu... 25. I don't know about him too much. I think that's one of the only changes we need to make right now. Because apart from that, I'm loving the look of this squad and I'm sure a trophy will come soon. The budget right now for us is just irrelevant. The club's just giving us endless money. But yeah, we're just going to make that one right back signing. If you're wondering what happened to Serginho Dest, for some reason, the man has fallen off. I'll put him in the starting 11. Actually then, you know what? I don't want to sign that right back. I'll keep Serginho Dest. I actually don't want to make any signings, as crazy as that sounds. I'm, I'm happy with the squad. Maybe when players start getting a bit older, we'll try and make more signings. But for season four, I'm happy to keep the team as is. One more thing I want to show you guys is some of the players we've loaned out. Look at this guy, Miguel Aziz. He's growing pretty well. Balogun as well. All these players, guys, once we get towards the eighth or ninth season, are going to be very useful. So... I can't wait to see how we incorporate them in the squad. I've put them on like two-year loan deals. So let's just fire through season four. Champions League for the first time. 
Can't wait to see how we perform. Guys, 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 this day cannot be forgotten. We've actually won a trophy. It's taken us four seasons, but we've actually won a trophy. It's the worst one possible. It's the mighty Carabao Cup. But hey, we've beaten Man United for it. And we've got some silverware. Four seasons to win the Carabao Cup. Oh my god. Oh wow, this is honestly a bit mental. We're in the FA Cup final as well. We could be winning two trophies this season. Okay. Here we go, FA Cup final. I don't want to lose it like the last time. Let's make it one FA Cup and one Carabao Cup. There you go. Job done. That's two trophies this season and there may be more to come. I'm surprised at how bad we were in the Premier League considering we just won two domestic cup competitions. Fourth in the Prem. That's worse off than last season. Liverpool end up winning the league. I'm not gonna lie, I'm certainly disappointed, especially considering how big that gap is. The Premier League is something I desperately want to win in this video. Maybe season five is when we'll win it. Apart from that, you won't believe it though. We're in the Champions League final. How has this happened? Let's take a look. We knocked out Liverpool. We knocked out Barcelona 5-0 and we knocked out Napoli. Just crazy. Let's get through this final. Yeah, this is genuinely mental. Arsenal PSG. Sinistera. Who's that? No, Messi. I think Messi is retired, guys. Champions League final against PSG. Are we gonna genuinely add a Champions League? in the fourth season itself. I don't know how, but maybe we might just do it. Nah, nah, Messi comes off the bench. He's not retired. He comes off the bench and haunts Arsenal again. That's a Champions League final L we've taken. Oh my God, is that brutal. But still, FA Cup and Carabao Cup, at least some silverware this season, gives me a lot of confidence for the next few ones. Carlos Soler, oh my god, 34 goals in a season from midfield? Wow, that is just outrageous, that is outrageous. Richarlison with a big season, 26. Martin Odegaard with a fantastic season as well, once again. Emil Smithrow keeps performing. Nicola Pepe with a few, where's Saka? Yo, Saka needs to step up, man, Saka really does, but mental stats all round stats why 69 goals for of course Odegaard but he better be careful Richarlison is closing in slowly but surely apart from that Soler with a monstrous season you just never know Odegaard top assister though that he is far ahead of 47 and now let's look at trophies look at this guys a couple of trophies added onto the cabinet four seasons in FA Cup and Carabao Cup let's see what we can achieve in season five we're now coming into season five, having won trophies. Job is now to take it even further. I think I have identified where I want to make improvements. Because I think we need to make a signing or two. Gabriel, I think we've reached our peak performance with him. 84, we need to do a bit better than that. And I'm sure we can do a bit better than that. So I'm thinking a center back is what we go for. Tomiyasu getting a replacement for him. Maybe we'll delay that a bit because I'm still banking on Serginho Dest going up in his overall. I don't know why he hasn't grown. By the way, Enketia will be sold. For some reason, he signed a new deal with Crystal Palace, which I don't understand why. He's 26, so it's fine. And we'll have Balo, Balogun be our backup striker for this season. So, well, let's figure out that centre-back signing. Money isn't an issue because we reached the Champions League final. We got Champions League football as well. We won a couple of trophies. We've got unlimited funds, basically. All right, guys, five seasons in and we're making some serious transfers now. Upamecano, 154 million. Now our defence is just insane. And maybe it's time we start winning Premier Leagues in the Champions League. So there you go. 89 rated centre-back has been signed. He's 26. Let's go. Oh, we've got a Community Shield final since we, of course, won the FA Cup. That's another shot at winning a trophy. Let's let's add to it. Liverpool have a good team. They've signed Memphis. The Pie Bellingham plays for them. Robertson has moved to centre-back. Interesting. Let's sim this one and see if we can win. We can. Carlos Soler keeps scoring for us. What a player. 2-0 against Liverpool. And that's another trophy. What a way to start off season 5, is this? I think it's season 5. Anyways, no more signings. I'm happy with the squad once again again Upamecano adds so much we've sold Gabriel we're just gonna rock this team can we maybe reach a Champions League final again let's see most importantly I think it's high time we start winning the Premier League so we've simmed until the end and nah this is wrong this is just wrong I thought we were finally gonna win the Premier League man this is so wrong 79 points same as Liverpool but goal difference gets Liverpool the title five seasons in and we're yet to win the Prem title that is such a bummer. What about, of course, the FA Cup? 
City wins that Carabao Cup, maybe goes our way. Nope, City wins that too. Champions League. We're in the final once again, and it's the same game. PSG Arsenal, my god. Back-to-back -back Champions League finals. Maybe this time we'll get a bit lucky. We knocked out Spurs in the semis. Atletico Madrid in the quarters. And Wolfsburg in the round of 16. Here we go. Arsenal PSG. Come on, guys. Let's do this. Messi starts on the left. He's still playing, which is incredible. Marquinhos, Lacroix at the back. Hakimi. They've got a good team, boys. We've lost to them last season. This season, can we win the Champions League? I can't believe it, man. Two seasons in a row, we've lost the Champions League to PSG. Two finals we've lost now. Like, don't know what to say, guys. Don't know what to say. No trophies again this season. We've got five more seasons to go to fill up the cabinet, but huh, this is... Yeah, we've built a great team, but no trophies as such to show for it. <coughs> Richarlison. Oh my god. I'm glad we stuck by him because he's just had a monstrous season. 39 goals for him. Carlos Soler coming in with 21. Odegaard slowed down a little bit, but still good season. Emil Smith throw decent, but Richarlison, oh my days. Stats-wise, we've got a new top scorer, and that's Richarlison, who's now scored 93 goals for Arsenal. So, fair play, Richarlison, for getting there. Incredible, man. 93 is a lot. He's overtaken Odegaard by just a few goals, but that's cool to see. Odegaard is still our top assister, though. Now time for season six, yet to win a major trophy. We're in season 6 guys and honestly this team is so good, we don't need to make improvements at least now and by what I mean at least now is that because this is a 10 season challenge, players are aging. If you look at this guys, our squad consists of so many 28, 29 year olds and soon we'll be needing to replace most of them. That's gonna make things in incredibly difficult for us but hey. That's the challenge, guys. That is the challenge. But yeah, for this season, I want to keep the squad as is. I want to trust them. But if we can't win any major trophies, you know, heads will need to roll, as they say. And we'll need to make big signings to try and get some silverware. Okay, season six. We're at the end of the season. Are we going to win the Premier League? It's about time. Also, the Premier League table looks a bit crazy with Everton 13th, Liverpool 12th. What's happening here? Man City finish 8th. Could this be the season? Could this be the season? We're top four. Chelsea finish four. Spurs third. Okay, so we're one, two. Oh my god, this is it. This is the moment. Six seasons of grinding. And yes, guys, we've won the Premier League finally. Oh my god, what a grind it's been. But we've won the Premier League for the first time in this challenge. Arsenal have won the Premier League. I don't even know what year it is. What, 2027 or something? Genuinely crazy, but we've done it. What a relief. Do we win any other trophy? Let's see. FA Cup, that goes to Chelsea. What about the mighty Carabao Cup? That goes to City. Do we make the Champions League final? No, we didn't. It's Liverpool PSG. PSG for three seasons in a row have ruined our life. Like, what is this, man? They win the Champions League. They'll probably win it against Liverpool. But we got knocked out in the semi-finals. Ah, oh, at least we won the Premier League this season, though. Emil Smith through our top scorer. Erdgaard getting injured. That's such a bummer, but he had a good season overall. Where did Richarlison fall off so bad? That's, that's a bummer. He was way better last season. Anyways, Erdegaard and Emil Smith though had big, big seasons for us. Stats-wise, Richarlison holds the crown with 111 goals for Arsenal at his time here. Superb to see top scorer for us over these six seasons. We've still got four more to go. Erdegaard, top assister with 63. He's still miles ahead of anyone else. Trophies-wise, we've now won three trophies over the course of these six seasons, which sounds very underwhelming. Could have certainly been a bit more if we hadn't lost all those finals but yeah we're adding the premier league to it fa cup and the carabao cup let's keep winning more i just need that champions league or the europa not the europa league just the champions league we need that in this save all right guys season seven begins and we're yet to win the champions league we're coming off a premier league winning season which is great but i reckon we can certainly win more i think enough is enough with saka he's just not growing in his overall maybe we time it's time to look for something better and that's what we'll be striving towards for of course season seven i think a world-class right winger is the play can we even pull this off i was looking at gabby but ignore him for now can we pull this off Jaden Sancho. Oh my god. If we can sign a 91 rated Sancho, he'd fit in perfectly. It will give us Saka for depth. Nicola Pepe is getting older as well. Sancho should give us three, four good seasons. And that's all we need. Season 7, 8, 9 and 10. That's all we need. Let's do it, boys. Oh, come on. 
I've got it on strict negotiations for this challenge and we can't sign Sancho. We'll have to look elsewhere. That is so frustrating. I think this is a top tier signing. We couldn't sign Sancho, so I've gone for a player from Ajax in Antony, who's playing at Liverpool, by the way. Managed to get him for a good price, for about 80, 85 million or something, because his contract was expiring. 88 rated, incredible stats all round, way better than Saka. Saka, for some reason, just stopped growing. I do not know why. Maybe that'll change over time, but I don't know. But I think this is a class signing. All right, boys, squad ready for the season. Season 7 now. Can we win the Champions League this season? We certainly have the squad and depth to do so. So at the end of Season 7, this is, we've won the Premier League. That is our second Premier League trophy in seven seasons. We'll take it. We'll absolutely take it. 82 points. 12 played of Liverpool. Look at how the, ta the the protagonists in the Premier League have changed. Like Wolves and Everton in the top four. City have fallen off so much. Liverpool are the team that finished second. Insane. What about the Carabao Cup? Let's see what happens there. West Ham beat us in the final. I thought we were past that. FA Cup. Do we win this? Let's go. We've beaten Liverpool in the FA Cup final. That's two trophies this season. Two FA Cups. Now two Premier Leagues. Community Shield. Come on. We lost this. Are you kidding me? What about the Champions League? We're in the final. We're finally in the final and this time it's against Liverpool. Thank God it's not PSG. Oh, we knocked out PSG in the semi-finals. Wow. We knocked out Man United. We knocked out Inter. Let's beat Liverpool. Oh, wow. Odegaard is suspended for this final. That is such a bummer. That is such a bummer. Okay, now. Liverpool. Champions League final. There's no way we're losing three Champions Leagues. No, we aren't. Finally, after seven seasons, we've won the Champions League for the first time in this save. What a freaking relief this is. Oh my god, who scored the winner? Richarlison early on. That's one Champions League now for us. Let's go. Richarlison at the age of 31 continues to grow and it's a 35 goal season from him. Look at Anthony, what a signing he's been. 30 goals. Emil Smithrow coming up with 24. Erdegaard kind of slowed down but still popped up with a fair few assists. Soler not too bad. Yo, these players are all retaining their overalls i don't think we'll need to replace most of them for the rest of the challenge that's great to hear we've got three seasons more to get through okay not too bad stats wise richarlison just keeps breaking records 146 goals for him in the Premier League in all competitions for Arsenal. He's 93 rated and he's showing no signs of stopping. I want to see him hit the 200 goal mark for us. Hopefully he can do that. Odegaard with 75 assists is amazing. And yes, that's looking great. I don't think anyone's catching either of them in their category. Trophies wise, now that's what I'm talking about. We've added three trophies this season. A Prem, a FA Cup and of course the Champions League. We're looking good. Three more seasons. Let's see how much more we can fill this up. Time for season 8. I'm not seeing any drop-off whatsoever in overalls for the players, so I don't think we need to panic yet and sell some of the 30 plus year olds. I think everybody's doing really well right now in terms of overall, so we'll just keep it as is. We've just won the Champions League and the Premier League and the FA Cup. No reason to change the squad. Let's get right with this squad until the end of Season 8 and see how we can defend our titles. Ah, oh, come on. I thought we could really go back to back in the Premier League. So Season 8 with an aging squad. Five points off Manchester City. That's what we've managed to achieve. No Premier League title for us. Brighton in the Champions League next season. Hey, fair enough. What about the other competitions? Did we win the Community Shield? Finally, we get a Community Shield. That's the first one, believe it or not, in what? eight seasons now that's that's a bit crazy fa cup what happens here we win the fa cup as well against liverpool carabao cup that goes to liverpool they beat us there so fa cup and community shield so far this season champions league are we in the final we are again against lazio interesting we knocked out Dortmund, we knocked out Villarreal, and we knocked out Atletico Madrid. Let's beat Lazio. All right, guys, let's do this. Arsenal, Lazio, we got to win this. Come on, we've got to win the Champions League. Can't believe we lost to Lazio. We should have won at least three Champions Leagues. I don't know how we've lost to PSG twice and Lazio once. Oh, my God. We're still getting to the Champions League finals and all, which means our team is not is not like losing grip because they're, they're old. They're still doing fine. But how do we not win this? I don't get it. That's a big L we've taken. <coughs> Emil Smith-Rowe. Since when has he become a goal scorer of this magnitude? 38 goals this season. 16 assists as well. Erdegaard is slowing down, but he's got such a big advantage for the assist tab. So he's still going to be top assister. Richarlison, another 30 plus goal season. 
38. Stats wise, just incredible. The great thing is, nobody has dipped in their overall. Everybody's continuously getting better. I reckon we don't need to replace our squad. We'll just run with it until the end. Only a couple of seasons remaining and seeing how many more trophies we can add. Richarlison is so close to 200 goals. We need him to get there. I'm really hoping we can do that. Plus, I'd love to see Odegaard bag 100 assists. So, two seasons left. I think it's possible. Trophies wise, oh, the cabinet is filling up three FA Cups now. Just the Europa League left, but we don't really care about that. That's that's fine. Um, Champions League, one, two Premier League titles, two seasons to go. How much more we can add to this? Season nine, two seasons to go. I kind of feel like we need to add more trophies, but yeah, the squad is still just incredible. Like, there's no player downgrades happening at all. Like, everybody's at their peak. No reason to make any signings or replacements, considering we are making Champions League final after final. So, there's that. But we do need to sign a keeper because, well, Ramsdale has left the club. We've got unlimited funds, so let's just sign someone. Just gonna sign Andre Lunen. I love a bit of contract expiring stuff. We'll get him for like 30 odd million. We'll take it. 85 rated backup keeper. There you go. That's our backup keeper sorted in Lunen. Let's go. Team's looking incredible. We're now gonna sim until the end once again. I gotta win the Champions League. I feel like winning just one Champions League with this Arsenal team that we've built would be such a failure. We got to add more. And let's go. Big margin. We've won the Premier League title. 86 points. That's I think the highest we've had. 11 played of Chelsea, 12 played of Manchester City. That is yet another Premier League title we've won. Super up to see. That's now three, I think. Let me just have a quick check. Have we won three Premier League titles? Yup, this is number three. In 10 seasons, I mean, there's still one more to go. Winning three to four Premier League titles, I'll absolutely take that. This is number three. Amazing. What about other competitions? Community Shield, we're adding a second one to the list absolutely superb what about the fa cup who won that but burnley 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 of all teams okay carabao cup who wins that that goes to us let's go that's our second carabao cup trophy adding more and there's still more to come because guess what we're in the champions league final against man city leverkusen villarreal relatively easy teams knocked out napoli Anyways, City in the final, let's do this. 2030, by the way. I feel like we've lost so many Champions League finals in this save, it's frustrating. Like, can't lose another one, boys. Can't lose another one. We gotta win this, and we do. Manchester City lose 2-0 to us. We've won the Champions League. What a freaking relief. That's number two. Big season as we won both the Prem and the Champions League and the Carabao Cup. We'll take a cheeky treble. Let's go. Emil Smith-Rowe with a 41-goal season. If Richarlison didn't keep up with him at this rate, I think Emil Smith-Rowe could have easily won the top scorer charts. Oh, be the top scorer for us. Odegaard picking up some assists is great to see. Richarlison's steady rate, but he's slowly going down. But since we've got only one season left, I'm just going to stick with the squad we've got. But yeah, great stats all round. Looking at the stats, Richarlison has crossed goal number 200. 210 is what he's managed to do, which is just crazy. Fair play. Fair play, Richarlison, for scoring 200 plus goals. Odegaard with 100 assists as well. One more season to go. Trophies wise, three Premier Leagues, three FA Cups, two Carabao Cups, two Champions Leagues and two Community Shields as well. Brilliant. Let's see what we can do in the final season. All right, guys, season 10. Oh, what a grind this has been. This has taken me so long to record. I appreciate if any of you guys watching all the way to here and have not liked the video, please do like the video because, <laughs> yeah, it's taken a while. But yeah, anyway, season 10. I'm actually thinking before we get any further, kind of want to see some of the overalls and like the top talents in the world right now. What about Ansu Fati? What overall would he be like? Oh, he's 90 rated. RB Leipzig. That's a weird one. What about Erling Haaland? Erling Haaland. Is he still at Dortmund? That'd be mad if he is. He is still at Borussia Dortmund. Wow. 93 rated. Insane. Pretty sure Mbappe is 100% at PSG. Like, I don't see any way he's leaving PSG. 31. Uh, yeah. 95 killing Mbappe though. No wonder PSG denied us a couple of Champions Leagues. Who else are top talents? Bellingham would be a fun one to look at. Let's see how Bellingham is up to. Uh, 27. 89 rated Jude Bellingham. Okay. Anyways, time to get through season 10. 
Again, final season. Don't want to make any changes. I love this squad. We got, we won the Champions League last season. Let's trust the team. Our squad's looking a bit thin though. That's fine, I guess. That's completely fine. I think we'll still survive this season. Let's do it. Let's get to the end and see what's up. In our final season of this entire challenge, season 10. Can't believe we've managed to get to this point. Where do we finish in the Premier League? Can we make it four Premier League titles? Of course, we're top 10. We're top 6, Manchester United finish 6th, City finish 5th, West Ham 4th, okay we're top 3, ah oh, come on we finished 3rd, maybe it's because of the ageing squad, 7 points off Chelsea who end up winning the Premier League. What about the Community Shield, we lost that to Burnley, are you kidding me, okay okay, FA Cup, Man City win that, no trophies this season, are you kidding me, nah come on, Carabao Cup, the mighty Carabao Cup, we win that at least. And do we make the Champions League final? We do, and it's against Man City. Let's go. We knocked out Juventus. We knocked out Dortmund. We pretty much completed a comeback to knock them out. Fair enough. And we knocked out Frankfurt. Let's win the Champions League for the third time in this save. Not messing about here, boys. Not messing about here. As you guys can see, a few players have gone down in the overall. The likes of Richarlison and Soler. But they're still so high rated. I'm sure City players are pretty high rated as well. But let's do this. Champions League final. Who's going to win this? 2-0. And in the final season, we've won the Champions League to wrap it up. Absolutely brilliant. Richarlison, in a season where he was going down in his overall, drops a 40 bomb. What a way to wrap up this Arsenal challenge for him. Emil Smith-Rowe deserves a ton of credit. Odegaard adding another 12 assists. Let's take a look at the final stats and, of course, trophies. There's something very satisfying about Richarlison hitting exactly 250 goals. That's mental. 250 goals for Richarlison. What a player we've signed in this challenge. Helped us win three Champions Leagues. Odegaard with 113 assists. I'm sure Odegaard has scored around 150 goals as well, so that's mad. But yeah, Richarlison, our top scorer. Odegaard, our top assister. And one final look at all the trophies we've won. Three Premier Leagues, three FA Cups, three Carabao Cups, three Champions Leagues, and two Community Shield trophies. So... That is a total of 14 trophies over a decade. Could have been a bit better, but the amount of finals we've lost, man, just mental. All right, boys, this is where we're going to wrap up the video. This was so much fun to record. Absolutely enjoyed building this team. And it was so much fun going through seasons and just seeing the player grow. Carlos Soler being such a hero for us. Richarlison being a god, getting Odegaard to 95, this was fun. I want to do this again. Let me know if we should by dropping a like in the video and what team should we do this next with. So much fun to record and if you enjoyed it, drop a like, subscribe if you're new around here. 10 seasons with Arsenal, 14 trophies, Richarlison scoring 250, amazing. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Drop a like, subscribe and peace.